Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Allie, and this is Jesse. And we're the Hipster Gypsies. We live on the road and we sleep wherever we want. All inside our 1998 Winnebago Rialta motor. So come take a look. Welcome to our home. So right here we have a tiled entryway. Over here we have our little kitchen area. And then we just have our bed. Um, right here we have our lighting that Christian just put in. Here we have our one and only closet. We have one closet. And inside we just put our paper towel holder in there. And then over here we have our bathroom. And over here we have our desk area. This is our antique chair that I love and Jesse loves as well. So when we got our van, it had horrible carpeting in. It was really, really dirty. We decided to change that. So we did the hardwood floor. It's hardwood laminate floor, so it was a lot cheaper. We hand cut each piece with just a, an X-Acto knife. And then what we did last week is we got this nice tile. It was on sale, so it was about only $40 for all of the tiling. And what I did was I uh, troweled on an adhesive layer to make it all smooth to make like a nice base for the tiling to go on so you had a nice um, flat surface. And then when it was all dry, I grouted in between each tile right here. All right, as a former cook, the kitchen was a really important part of uh, the project for us. We have a really nice stove and uh, it's basically runs on propane. This combined with the propane fridge, we can run it for three or four weeks without refilling the tank. It's amazing and it costs less than $10 every time that we refill. And the way that the stove works is you turn on the, you turn on the gas and then you light it with a lighter and it works like any uh, home uh, range and you can turn it up and turn it down. The sink is a standard bar size sink and uh, we replaced the faucet with one that was just a little bit higher and nicer. The old one was only about this high so we weren't able to wash our pots and pans very well. This is a magnetic spice rack. These never fall off when we're driving. Not even the really big knives. They never fly into the back of our head. The propane fridge, just the right amount of space for us. We really don't need any more. We've got everything we need. Even if we were to go go uh, camping for three or four weeks outside in the forest, we would with our canned goods, we would have enough uh, food not to have to go shopping at all. And here is the solar charge controller. Shows us our current amperage that we're getting from the solar panels on top of the roof. That's basically the kitchen for you. This is our bedroom. The first thing we did was try to make the bed a little more comfortable because technically it's two couches put together and the seam is about right here. We put in a foam pad. It is about four inches thick, so it makes it really, really comfortable to sleep on. And also our down comforter that we got, it's really colorful. So it's only a full um, mattress, so it's a little tight, but it's all we need. This is where we store our clothes. So I have my clothes over here. It's a much larger pile than Christian's clothes over here. Actually, some of my clothes are over here too. I think that's pretty much it. All right, let's talk about some of the technology in the bedroom. Over here we've got a 24 inch LED TV. Runs on 12 volt power natively, so we're not having to invert the power. We do use an inverter, however, for the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 2. We've got a 200 watt modified sine wave inverter up here does all we need. We can even run them both at the same time if we wanted to. The TV takes almost no power. We plug the laptop in using an HDMI cable. Plugs right in there. We've got audio and video. Behind the television we've got controllers and we've got our games and DVDs. We've got our new LED lighting complete with party mode. Ready to go for any occasion. We've got one on this side, one on this side. Over here we've got a control panel, shows the level of our gray tank, our black tank, our fresh tank, tells us how our battery's doing, and gives us a read on our propane tank. Um, we can also turn the water pump on and off, something we do all the time. And that's about it over here in the bedroom. I had some extra tile, so I just put tiling like right on our little entryway door. I did really, really crazy paint colors, so we have turquoise, and red in the kitchen. Every inch of this place 
is covered in paint. We decided to paint the bathroom door and the closet door copper, and then we painted the background black. So you come to the bathroom, you push these little things, and bam, pop a pink. So that's my little girly touch even though I kind of hate pink. So we started these renovations in 109 degree heat. So one of the first things that I did once we put the solar panels on the roof and had to take the air conditioner out for that is install one of these. It's a max air vent. Aside from being kind of like a skylight for us, allows us to uh, cool the place with a lot higher power. It has three speeds, have it bring the air out or you can bring the air in. It also has a thermostat, so you can set it um, to be a little bit, to basically keep going until it gets a little cooler, and then it'll turn off for the night, and then once it heats up in the morning, it'll turn on again. I installed these LED lights, and there's a switch here under the kitchen, and uh, so you can walk in and turn on the kitchen lights right away. We've got another switch for these LED lights. Another electrical item we have is down here. I showed you the 200 watt inverter in the back for the video game consoles. This is a 3000 watt modified sine wave inverter. It's attached directly to the battery bank, which is right down here. This allows for things like our power tools. In the back, we've got a electric saw, we've got a, a drill. We turn this on, and we've got 3,000 uh, watts of modified sine wave AC power. So Ali can run her hair dryer on low and her uh, hair straightener on full blast. Here's the cockpit where we spend our driving time. While we're parked, we usually separate it using these awesome gigantic blackout curtains. But while we're driving, we put it up. It's kind of like a little caravan. We get to see what's back there. And I put my phone up here and we've got turn-by-turn -turn GPS directions. Also replace the stereo, so now we've got Bluetooth audio. I attached it to the house battery so it never turns off, and we can stream Bluetooth from our phones or from the computer. We can have awesome surround sound in our home. What else? These chairs turn totally around in case we want to have a big party. We've got uh, seating for, what, five, six, seven, if you count the bed. So we're, uh, we're looking forward to having some big parties in here. So on the driver's side, we have my favorite feature, which is the outside shower. It allows me to be able to wash my hair really easily when no one can see me. And when me and Christian are hidden in nature, we can also take a little blue shower together. It allows us just to feel really free and one with nature. Just wanted to show you the max air vent from the outside, as well as our uh, two 130 watt uh, solar panels. The cool thing is you can't really see them from down here and we are stealth camping so it's cool that you can't really see them from street level. For here we have our awesome uh, Yakima bike rack. But what this one does is it has a lock built in. Um, we also have an extra chain that we have just for security because um, people can cut this cable but it has this awesome quick release mechanism. It um, also allows us to bring the bikes down um, for easy access to the back where we have uh, our tools, uh, toolboxes, shore power line, extension cords, everything you could need. Also hair clippers for me. Basically makes haircuts uh, a thing of the past. So that's the back. I hope this gave you a little glimpse into our lives. Thank you for watching.